You know, I, I've talked about this before, but I want to talk about it again. Um, you know, I, I see, you know, people like uh, uh, these eccentric billionaires like uh, Robert Bigelow, who who at one time bought Skinwalker Ranch and had scientists go in and study it and try to figure things out. And now, uh, and then just recently in the past year, he had a, he had, he, he put up a million dollars in prizes to anybody who could come up with the, uh, an answer as to whether or not there's, there's, there's life after death, you know, things like that. He has, uh, he's interested in paranormal type things and UFOs and all that kind of stuff. Apparently he has a, he, he's a guy who has a lot of money and he's interested in a, in a lot of weird stuff, um, and I find that interesting, um, uh, but uh, you know, it'd be interesting. It'd be nice if some of these people would actually put some money toward uh, even more serious study. I mean, some things. I mean, I, for right now, we got some. We we have some uh, things going on right now. We have, for instance, the uh, UAPX study. There's the Galileo project. There's actually some serious scientific studies right now out there that are trying to uh, determine. You know the nature and and origin of UAP, um, and uh, I, I really think that's great. I'm glad that there's some people in, in, in involved in this. Some scientists, some people from the scientific community, are studying this. Uh, I, I I don't think no matter what these groups come up with, right at the end, I don't think it's going to be enough proof though for any kind of uh, to end the debate. Uh, that's the one problem that I see. I I believe the only way to end the debate is to have some sort of absolute proof in your hand actual physical proof that becomes undeniable and i did talk about this before in a podcast some months ago i'm sure I, I know i did but i want to take it to another level here i mean right now i mean look at we have these tv shows all the time you know bigfoot hunters ufo hunters and all, all that kind of stuff but really what are they they're just a bunch of people running around and really not getting anywhere really it's just you know he, he, really what do you get out of it in the end nothing i mean there's no proof has come out of this yet you know there's, you know no one has proved definitively that there's a, a bigfoot out there running around uh to this point i mean they come up with little clues and little pieces of evidence maybe strands of hair on a tree and stuff like that but you know there's really it but it seems like the focus is more on producing tv programs you know a weekly tv program where people are going to tune in every week to see if see if they find anything what they're going to find next you know and the same thing with some of the ufo shows some of them are like that where you know people are on a mission trying to figure out trying to come up with the evidence but you know the thing is is the second anybody comes up with evidence you're not going to have to wait for a tv show i mean it should be just be national news international news Right, I mean that's really what the uh, we're, we're, we're shooting. That's how this should be, you know, rather than this UFO tainment, you know, uh, Bigfoot tainment type uh, approach. So, like, I mean, what if there was a? I mean, right now, even I mean, Skinwalker Ranch or somebody else that owns it now, they're filming a TV series there all the time. You know, it, what about a serious scientific study that not just to film these UFOs, but what if there's a serious scientific approach? A serious scientific method to try to actually not you i don't think you're ever going to catch one of these you know i don't know how you'd ever uh, someone in the public in the uh, regular civilian group is ever going to be able to uh uh you know come up with their own flying saucer unless they find one crash themselves right but there might be ways right to actually capture one of these beings and present that evidence to the world before any kind of government has any chance of trying to uh, swoop in and cover the whole thing up and, you know, put you in a dark room and question you for like, you know, four days straight you know, and maybe even torture you into uh, uh, forgetting about what everything that just happened. So there might be ways of going about it to actually capture one of these beings. And uh, I mean, there's things, I mean, a lot of people out there, there's uh, people out there who... Uh, are professional hunters and there's all different kinds of uh, people who are really smart about hunting and, and living in uh, d coming up with things that a lot of people other people regular people wouldn't think of you could come up with a team of people and not this isn't a team to be on some weekly tv show an actual team similar to the galileo project but with the focus of actually capturing one of these alien beings and ending this whole debate once and for all because obviously 
the governments of the world are not interested in ending the debate for us. Uh, they're afraid, uh, and among who knows what other reasons. So there must be a way to actually capture one of these beings. Uh, I have some ideas in my head, and I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there that could probably could possibly think of some other ideas. But if you put a certain a team together of some experts to come to to accomplish this mission, you know, without the the glare of a weekly TV show or anything like that, I'm talking about a serious effort, a serious effort to end this debate once and for all, and to have the infrastructure in place that once the capture does happen, to present that information to the public without be, before there's any chance of any government interference to end this debate once and for all uh, that's what i think there's a possibility that that could be done but it would require money so you have people like this this eccentric robert bigelow who has all these uh, maybe there's other billionaires out there too that would want to uh, put some money into into a pot right to accomplish this this feat uh you know but pure scientific effort to do this and you know to, to do this without the interference of a of a regular weekly history channel tv show or anything like that nothing like that i mean of course everything would be uh all the, the everything would be recorded everything all, all the effort would be uh you know there'd be records you know of everything that happened of course and then if you actually were to capture one of these things immediately uh, have have the uh, everything ready to go in that event to uh, uh to uh broadcast that information to the world you know, before anybody could do anything about it to stop you. <clears throat> so, like, why not put uh, money up for something like this? There has to be people out there who have bil billionaires who are interested in this, other than even Bigelow, uh, you know, but would be, he could be one of them. Uh, why not? You know, you know, I, I, not to turn it into a joke, though, like one of these TV shows, you know, I don't want to, you know, yeah, that, that's, that's, we, we wouldn't want that. We, it, we, the, the whole goal of this would be actual, to actually capture an alien being, you know, whether the, per, per, when the whether the being is, uh, you know, captured outside of a landed craft somewhere or in someone's house trying to abduct them, right? But some sort of, effort some sort of plan proposal put together to actually do that that's where that you know if we want to end this debate that's how we that's how it could be done it could be done that way now of course i would hate to see it turn into some tv show uh you know something like that but you know because it would just be it 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 doesn't it takes some belief it takes the believability it takes you know it's it's more of an effort to you know get more eyeballs on commercials that's what it seems like then it's just, it's about making money then no no this is about a serious effort who cares if you how much money is thrown into it and how much money is lost that's not the point the point would be to actually end this debate already right because it seems like the governments of the world don't want to do that so you know yeah i'd hate to see it turn into a, a joke though i mean that would be you know i'd have to have a uh you know a, like a, a tv show with this uh, with like a, a quint character from jaws you know instead of instead of uh you know remember jaws of course uh the, the character quint played by the the late great robert shaw you know i'd i'd hate to see a tv show like like that all you know every week you know y'all know me you know how i earn a living I'll catch this alien from outer space for you, but it's not going to be easy. I value my neck a lot more than one million bucks, Bigelow. I'll find him for one, but I'll catch him and bring him in by the scruff of the neck for ten. You know, you don't want to have that, you know. There once was a girl named Mary Lee, died at the age of 103. For 15 years, she kept her virginity. Not a bad record for this vicinity. Yeah, that would be a joke then. It would be a joke, you know, to have something like that. Of course, it'd be entertaining, right? But I'm talking serious scientific study. It'd be nice if there were some rich people out there that would, uh, you know, come together. Uh, maybe Bigelow. You know, he's eccentric. He, he, he wants to find out things, right? He already believes in it but hey why not come up with the actual you know evidence you know instead of no no nonsensical tv shows get keep that all you know do have a serious effort to try to actually find one of these capture one of these things capture one of these beings and then show it to the world you know and it, before anybody could do anything about it that would be great rather than you know some crazy tv show you know 
you know, you, you know, you, instead of a shark hunter, UFO hunter. Farewell, and adieu to you, fair Spanish ladies. Farewell, and adieu to you, ladies of Spain. For we received orders for to sail back to Boston. And so nevermore shall we see you again.